stars and welcome back to the Minecraft universe. This is Jason and today we're going to be doing another mod showcase. This time we're going to be doing the Batman mod. So this mod is made by the same guy who made all the other superhero mods and like uh, the Avengers and all that stuff and Slenderman. So uh, it's, it's a pretty good mod, you know, he's updated a little bit. It's been out for a little bit, uh, a little while. I never really uh, reviewed it yet. But now I am. And it's the Batman mod. You become the Batman. So uh, let's go ahead and uh, get started, I guess. So we're going to go over here and we're going to show you how to make some suit. Some Batman suit. And this is what it looks like. It's me, Batman. It's, it's me, Batman Universe. Don't worry about it. Uh, I, I fight crime. I save all Jeffries. And Dylan is my best friend. So that's, uh, yeah, that's basically the intro to Batman. And basically, what you need is Batman cloth. And you get three for doing this big old crafting recipe right here. You get three Batman cloths. And then um, with the Batman cloths, you can make a Batman suit and a Batman's pants by crafting it like normal pants and chest plate. But unfortunately, uh, it does not work with the helmet. And I'm not sure why. It's supposed to, and it doesn't work with boots either. So I don't know how you're going to get those. You're probably going to have to cheat, honestly. Uh, but that's okay, you know. At least at least make the cloth, and then and then get it in creative, then delete your cloth. It's almost like you just crafted it in the first place. So I don't know. I guess that's a, like a glitch or whatever. He needs to fix it. Uh, but otherwise, I don't know how to make the mask and the boots. Anyways, we're going to move on to the cape. And basically, you use the cloth uh, all in a uh, crafting bench, all spaces in a crafting bench, to get a Batman's cape. And basically, all it does is it's like an item. You can't wear it, unfortunately. That'd be kind of cool. Uh, but basically, you just jump off cliffs and stuff and hold it in your hand, and you won't die because you'll float safely to the ground. So basically, hold on, let's, let's, let's figure out here. This is number seven. Okay, so let's let's let the world load a little bit here, and we're gonna jump. Okay, stop lagging. This is making me angry. Don't make me angry. Anyways, we're gonna do. I guess normal. Yeah, what the hell? We'll do fast. Okay, there we go. It's probably because we're recording or something. Anyways, uh, what you do is you just jump off big old cliffs and or er, jump off and then switch to it, and then you'll just. Sli slowly glide to the ground and yeah, apparently lag a lot that's also a part of this whole process anyways that's the capes pretty simple uh, you can't really wear it but you can hold it so that's pretty much it for that next up we're gonna move up to the grappling hook and at first you need to craft a hook and to craft a hook you use some iron ingots some string and a stick the stick is the most important part of the recipe because it's a stick a stick Anyways, you make the hook, and then you put the hook in this recipe here. You got some iron ingots, redstone, diamond, and a string. You get a grappling hook. Grappling hook is pretty simple. All you do is right-click to drag it towards whatever you want a grapple hook, pretty much. So I just you kind of kind of keep right-clicking. You can't. It's not necessarily a grappling hook. It's more like a grappling hook with rapid fire or something. But yeah, anyway, you just keep doing that or something, you know. And that's pretty much it for the grappling hook. It's pretty simple. And this jungle biomes are very laggy. My game is not liking the jungle biome right now. Stop it! Stop! Stop affecting my game. Stop it! Stop messing up my mod showcase. Stop it! God, what the hell? Okay, anyways, we're going to make a batarang. That's our next thing on the list. Batarang. Crafted with four redstone and an arrow. Just to get one batarang. Batarang's really cool, actually. I kind of like the batarang. Uh, basically what you do is, I guess get some monsters, hold on, let's change difficulty. Uh, we are on easy, so we're good. So let's, uh, throw in some spiders. Let's throw in some spiders to our world. I throw in creepers, but no one wants creepers, because they mess up mod showcases. So there we go, we got some spidey man. So by my, an arch nemesis, uh, IMDC, he is, uh, Marvel. We are not friends. So you take your batarang, basically you just right click and it will glide to the nearest mob, or not, I guess not nearest, but it will kill any mob nearby you, pretty much, on its own, so, it, oh god, anyways, you could be facing this way, and it goes behind you, actually, and so, it, it just be careful, because it does not do the nearest mob, uh, it kind of just goes, so, if you have a lot, just, eh, eh, spam, pretty much, but then you might, you might lose a couple, but yeah, that's pretty much a battering, it just goes to the, a near mob, a nearby mob, not nearest, 
And that's pretty much it for that. Uh, next up, we got some bombs. These are the last gadgets of the mod. Uh, apparently, he's going to add some more stuff soon and probably fix up some stuff, he says. But right now, we're going to explain the bombs. So first up is the smoke bomb. It's crafted with a TNT, four ink sacs. You get four smoke bombs. And basically, what these are for is let's spawn a little bit more spiders. Uh, actually, just, yeah, one. And then basically, the smoke bomb is when you right-click it on the ground... Wow, puff of smoke, and you are invisible, and they cannot see blindness. So, uh, but unfortunately, this does not let you escape mobs. If you were online and like playing an SMP or something, the people would be blind. You would be invisible. Obviously, it would help, um, unless there were particles on. Except they are blind, so that actually does help a lot. But anyways, that's pretty much it for the smoke bomb. Doesn't really do much. And I just realized I didn't explain what the armor did. Uh, I, I guess I should do that. The armor, the the shoes, the Batman shoes, those uh, get, allow you to double jump. I'm pretty sure, that I know, I'm sorry guys, this is out of order. Uh, anyways, you can double jump as Batman. You just, I you can't really do it and create, I guess I can. Yeah, you jump, see, like, jump, jump. I oh, yeah, see, I can't really do it. Let's see, let's see if we can do it. Ready, and jump, jump. There we go, so... Yeah, double jump anyways. You can double jump, which allows you to, to, I believe, jump three blocks or something. And yeah, that's, that's pretty cool. Um, that is what the shoes do. The pants give you super speed. Actually give you, or make you faster. So if I, you know, take these off, you will notice a difference. So, eh. And then you put them on, and then you can walk faster. Slightly. Doesn't say you have speed, but you are a little bit faster. And then the Batman suit gives you strength three. So, it's, I mean, yeah, you would see particles on me right now, but I took particles, uh, particles off, so it wasn't annoying. And then the Batman's mask does nothing right now. So, uh, yeah. Anyways, back to the bombs. Sorry about that, everybody. Small intermission. Uh, let's go ahead and get back to the bombs. So next up is the sticky bomb. It's crafted with four slime balls and a TNT. You get four sticky bombs, and basically what it does, does what exactly you think. You right-click. Oh, God. Well, that wasn't supposed to happen. Anyways, you right-click stuff, and it kind of just sticks to walls and and stuff and whatnot. It's not, you would think it'd be like a proximity mine, but when mobs walk, oops. But when mobs walk over, it does not blow up. You can actually throw it at a mob, and it will do as much damage as like a mini bomb, which is our next mini bomb, except it has a bigger blast radius, radius so, eh. So it's just kind of like a huge bomb you can throw. But make sure you hit uh, hit your mobs, because otherwise it won't really do much. Anyways, that's a sticky bomb. He says he's going to update it so that way maybe mobs can trigger it. So next up is the mini bomb. Uh, you craft that four pieces of brick and a TNT. And I'm going to stop this lag right now, because I feel like it's really annoying. Okay, we're back. And we got the mini bomb. So the mini bomb, basically, it just acts like a, it explodes on impact. <laughs> That's pretty cool. It's kind of like a cluster bomb almost. As you can see, it went straight through the ground over there. It's pretty cool. Um, it'll just keep going. It's like a little cluster bomb. Uh, and it kind of goes through walls, too, so I can like shoot it through this tree. See that? It's pretty cool, actually. So that'd be pretty fun to play with in survival multiplayer. And that's that. So that's the mini bomb. It's pretty simple. Uh, and then next up is the freeze bomb, I guess. Uh, yeah, freeze bomb. It's crafted with four pieces of ice and TNT. If you don't know how to get ice, you actually can get a pickaxe with silk touch on it and then mine it. Uh, but yeah, that's that's that. You get the freeze bomb. And what it does basically just freezes down your enemies uh, wh whenever it lands nearby him. So as you can see, he's, well, he's not trying to walk anymore, but now he is, and he's very slow. So I guess if you're trying to trap a mob or something, maybe it would work like on the Wither or maybe Ender Dragon, honestly. I think that would actually be pretty cool. So you, I think you can actually... On contact with the mob, it it like affects them. I don't know if it has to hit hit the ground or something. It might actually. Eh, I'm scared it does, cause then it would be not work with like the Ender Dragon. It probably would though, cause he has like a hitbox and stuff. So, so I don't know. Uh, but that, I mean that that seems like it. You could do some experimenting with that. Anyways, guys, I think that's pretty much it for this mod. Uh, that there's not too much left to explain. It's just you know if you want some Batman. Uh, to spice up your world, some some Batman universe, you know, some Dylan man. That is pretty much it, guys. If you enjoyed, smack the like button. Let's see if we can go for 10k likes, 10,000. I think we can do it. Might be able to smash through it, maybe. 
maybe, just maybe. But, uh, yeah, that's about it. I will talk to you stars later. And see you guys.